Do I think that Arnold has got any sort of involvement within this cheating drama between Core and more video? Um, not even a little bit, guys. Like, honestly, let's, let's have a talk about this. There's been a little bit of drama. I know a couple of content creators have covered it recently, and I just wanted to throw my two cents into the pile, as it were. Those of you that do not know, there was a recent territory war, bit of drama around two rather large guilds. They form part of what's known as the Gauntlet. That's the very top end for guilds that compete in TW, and they take it super, super seriously. Apparently, there are allegations between Core Empire and more video that there is some sort of mole that has been essentially logging into a player's account that belongs within more and has been feeding back the defense strategy to core so that they might end up winning that tw i mean never mind the fact that they actually lost even though they cheated i mean that's kind of humorous more than anything else but realistically speaking it's just kind of a scummy tactic to do it's not really something that should be encouraged and really we should be naming and shaming now i know arnold put out a video about this recently sort of stating his position on it and he does very rightly so say that he wants to have no sort of involvement or um, association with any guild that if it does turn out that such and such guild was cheating now based on what i've been reading on this reddit post here this one apparently has been removed from the original reddit um, and now only exists within a separate subreddit of galaxy of heroes that has essentially been archived archived all the posts so even if it's deleted it still remains here all right so a couple of things first and foremost i want to address anybody that likes to think that arnold is guilty by association or is in fact guilty of getting involved in it himself personally no not not even a little bit and that really boils down to how difficult it is to get involved in TW activities and uh, running a guild when you are also a content creator. This is something that I can speak firsthand about. Obviously, I don't have direct lines of communication. I mean, I've, I've spoke with Arnold a couple of times in private, but it's not like he and I discuss anything in any great detail uh, together in general. So I don't know from that perspective of, oh, Arnold, were you aware of this? Did you encourage this? Yada, yada, yada. I assume not. But what I can understand and I can give firsthand experience of is how difficult it is to try and man maintain and manage a YouTube channel, creating videos, doing streams, editing thumbnails, replying to comments, coming up with future content ideas. And that's without even playing the game. To think that Arnold would have any sort of side in also managing a guild, setting up TW defenses, scouting opponents and sort of that sort of thing. It's so incredibly unlikely. Personally, I have been playing the game since 2018. When I first started out, I started out as a standard player. My best friend got me playing. I eventually, in that first guild, became an officer. And then I ended up running that guild. I was the guild leader for about a year. That was around about the time that I was maybe a year into content creation on YouTube back in late 2020, mid 2020, something like that. And I had to give up being the guild leader because not because of any conflict of interest or anything like that, but because it is simply so difficult to try and do anything to do with managing a guild whilst working full time and creating videos for YouTube. Like that side of it, it I, I, to put it in perspective, I work a full time job. I also stream about 80 hours a month and then I create almost daily videos on my YouTube channel, which requires recording, you know, well, thinking, recording, editing footage, creating thumbnails, replying to comments, and playing the game. And we all know how long it takes to just play the game in general, guys. It's a time-consuming game. So the idea that, you know, Arnold would also be involved in everything that I do, and he does a lot more than I do, because who knows what else he's doing. He's also creates all his music video tracks and stuff like that. He has a large responsibility outside of what we normally see on YouTube and streaming and stuff like that. And the, the, the prospect that he has got the time to sit down, scout opponents, come up with a TW defense and come up with an offensive strategy is quite frankly, it's a, a it's ridiculous. I mean, maybe, maybe he does, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Like... It's so time consuming. Honestly, like I, I've taken a step back from guild leadership. I left my last guild and I had to leave the entire guild. I set up um, a new management structure there. I got new people promoted, new people running the guild. And that guild has absolutely flourished 
in no small part because I'm no longer the guild leader, okay? I did not do a fantastic job of running the guild because I did not have the time to do it and I could acknowledge that and I moved on, all right? Um, since then, I have very deliberately wanted no part of any sort of TW officer or any sort of officer responsibilities because I know that I cannot dedicate the time that it requires in order to do that successfully. An officer's job is a very time-consuming job on top of just playing this game, and I don't want any part of it, and I'm sure that Arnold is 100% in the same position. Okay, but I'm not going to ramble on too much about that. When it comes to the actual cheating allegations, my personal opinion is I am inclined to believe that this did happen. Based on the information that is discussed within this Reddit post, it's linked down in the description down below. Based on the information uh, described in this, it sounds very much, very much like somebody had inside an information around TW defenses. Now, whether or not we should really give a crap is a completely separate matter. I'll leave that for you guys at home. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you even care about this? Like, honestly? Um, I don't know. I think my personal stance on it is I think that this sort of cheating really devalues the game mode because the people that play TW at this level to this level of competitiveness do not do it for rewards. They don't do it for the rewards. They do it for a couple of things, I would imagine. But I imagine the rewards and the payout that they get is the least of their concerns. These guys are at the top of here not because... Um, they they really want to get those extra Zeta mats. They're up here because they are prideful of the fact that they are the best. They love the game mode. They thoroughly enjoy the PvP element on a TW stage where it is wider, longer, more of a guild effort. They really, really like that aspect of it. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's not because of the rewards. So the fact that people go in and cheat, this is different to somebody trying to set up a defense, trying to think of strategies, trying to execute an offensive plan and a defensive plan. This is quite literally cheating, looking at somebody's defenses so you know the exact counters that you can use. You might still fail, as was clear here. Um, you know, it's it's a matter of pride for them rather than rewards. So with that in, in mind, I think that this sort of cheating just really devalues the game mode. When it comes to the actual rewards and who else here should really care, I don't think we really care, guys. You know, it's 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 a scummy thing to do. It's a rubbish thing to do. And they should be named and shamed and probably should be kicked out of the guild. But I don't think that's going to happen. It, the amount of scouting and subterfuge and espionage that goes on at the, the top level is probably already rife. And this is just a step beyond it for literally scouting out the opponent's defense ahead of time and adjusting your defensive and offensive strategies to do it. This sort of thing does not happen below that. My guild is somewhere in the top 20, I think. There we go. I'm in SL Kashyyyk Underground. We are 15th for TW GP defeated, and I think we're like the seventh biggest guild GP in the game, something like that, there or thereabouts. Um, so I'm in a relatively big guild compared to the majority of the player base, right? I'm in one of the biggest guilds in the game. We don't take it that seriously. We, we take TW pretty seriously, but we don't go to the extent of trying to literally figure out and know for sure the exact teams that people have placed down on defense. And I don't think we should. I don't think we should. Similarly, Arnold doesn't really care about TW. He's not that interested. He said so himself a couple of times, but he has the integrity to say that, you know, if, if somebody that I'm associated with is confirmed to be a cheater and all of the officers within the guild were aware of it and encouraging it and supporting it then it's not guilt by association but he certainly has the right to want to move Arnold doesn't need to be in one of the top guilds in the game in order to continue the progress that he's doing at this point he already he could just jump to well Arnold come join us in SL Kashyyyk Underground there you go um, he can join any number of the guilds that are performing very well in TW and performing in the top raid box and doing all the extra stuff in TB he doesn't need the very cream of the crop people and if he doesn't want to be associated with cheaters then I think that he withholds that right and I don't think that anybody online should be judging him for it. Now it's a little bit different 
if these allegations turn out to be true and you know it comes out and i do think they are true guys i genuinely do um i don't have any information it's just my gut feeling based on reading that post if if arnold chooses not to leave at that point then maybe it seems a little bit duplicitous but i have a feeling that arnold is most likely somebody that would stick to his word i think it's it's an interesting subject and these sort of things don't really tend to come around too much or too often within the game there are obviously bigger forms of cheating than this. There, we know that people can hack the APK of the game and they can give themselves infinite health and deal infinite amounts of damage. And you'd think if they're willing, if people like Core and all this sort of business are willing to go into this underhanded tactic of, um, you know, actually seeing a TW defense, and at that point, why don't you just all get APKs and get 20 banners in every TW battle? You know, it's... It, it's as far as I'm concerned, there's no difference in cheating to find out someone's defense and cheating to guarantee that you win a battle. Honestly, I, I mean, maybe I'm out of order here, but that's the way it looks to me. And I, I just can't see, I can't see another rationalization for it. So don't get me wrong. If this isn't the case, if this didn't happen, then I'll fully hold my hands up and say, OK, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. But just based on the information that we're seeing portrayed at this point, that's kind of where it seems to be going. So sound off in the chat down below, guys. What do you think? Do you think cheating has actually occurred here? And do you think Arnold is all right? He's got no weight on his shoulders. He has got no blame, no blood on his hands. And that's genuinely what I think the situation is at this moment. Until the very next video, guys. Peace out. And may the force be with you.